Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is showcasing some Town Hall 10 three star attacks and some of them involving some swag spells. Whenever you only have to use four spells at Town Hall 10, you know something has gone right for you. This is the war against Marshall's Legend here. Uh, gonna start off with uh, Dao up on base 13. This is one of the swag spell attacks. He's going to swag one of those freezes. You guys will see how it goes down. Um, funny how my last two videos, this one and the one before it, now have swag spells in the title. I'm not becoming one of those channels, but it's it's just the reality of the attacks. i got to advertise it. Um, people are swagging spells all over the place in One Hive Genesis. And now two attacks from this war, swagging spells at Town Hall 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at both those swag attacks and also one bonus attack, another 10v10, uh, using Drag Loon because whenever I see some Drag Loon I want to show it because it's an attack that we don't see as much as we see La Loon or Hogs or Miners so something a little bit different um, that you guys don't see every day probably and we'll take a look at that uh, in a moment as well. I also have some other 10v10s from this war that I'm going to be showing uh, including a attack strategy video I'm going to be making for 10v10, which will come out um, over the next few days, as well as some Town Hall 9 attacks. So you guys are going to see a lot of attacks from this war because we had five 10v10s and also some awesome 9v9s. So have to do this war its justice and show a lot of attacks from it. Now, this one by Dow was kind of a nice entry. Starts off around 11 o'clock up there and brings the kill squad to the right uh, coming in for the inferno the king and the golem ended up walking around the outside but that actually worked out to some extent because he got two teslas on the outside of the base uh, with that king the queen still did her job got the defensive queen got the cc troops and got the inferno now it's time for la loon Pretty uh, good air defense placement for a la loon attack because they're nice and central uh, with it yeah with lava hounds can tank Got tongue-tied for a second. Uh, with Lava Hounds can tank in the middle of the base, and the loons can move through. Now, I'm not sure why he didn't freeze the Inferno. Maybe he forgot to. Maybe he uh, was slow on the deployment and said, you know what, it won't do anything at this point anyway. Maybe he said, I have so many loons left up, I can just swag this freeze. Whichever one it was, for whatever reason, he has a freeze spell left over. Um, sorry about that. Uh, if you turn on my Do Not Disturb... Uh, hopefully I don't get a call or something during this this video. Let me go ahead and turn it on now. Uh, let's see. Do not disturb on. Oops. Sorry about that. My first time actually turning it on mid-video because I don't want to be assaulted with more notifications. Uh, but that is a signature on this channel for those of you who are kind of longtime subscribers. You guys remember when the notifications used to be even worse. Anyway, though, a troll Tesla in the corner... A little bit of a surprise here, um, this base was probably not scouted is my guess, otherwise he would have had a loon for it. Goes ahead and swags the freeze on the troll Tesla. That counts as a swag spell because the freeze was totally not needed and he was just kind of showboating with it at the end there. So nice one to smog, nice hit there. Um, that smog on his Town Hall 10 DAO account. And then moving on, we are going to take a look at the other swag attack. This is Devin on base number 15. This one, you know, has level 3 Infernos. None of these bases are completely maxed out. They're kind of mid-level for the most part. And the bases are solid anti-3-star bases, but not... They're a little bit outdated anti-3-star bases, if I'm going to be completely honest. They're not quite at the meta in terms of layout. The Infernos are still kind of in the standard positions from what we've seen for uh, quite a few months. So not, not quite the newest bases, but they're still difficult to 3-star and having an extra spell left over is definitely still a good accomplishment here. So uh, Devin come in here. It's a tricky wall breaker um, to get that wall opened up because the wall breakers have to be deployed from so far back, but he gets the job done. Great funneling. Uh, Devin has some of the best funneling I've seen at Town Hall 10 in terms of getting those bowlers inside the base because it's so tricky when you have two layers of trash buildings. Anyway, though, the kill squad moving in has the poison spell down. He got the CC troops dealt with early, now dealing with the heroes, triggering giant bombs by the infernos, still has the queen's ability. Um, I'll talk more about this attack in an attack strategy video, the Town Hall 10 hog attack, because um, if it's a small CC, 
see it makes it that much easier to get deep into the base with your kill squad and he gets both infernos taken out which is one of the reasons he was able to swag this free spell here because his queen gets such incredible value in the last little leg of her push in the inside of the base she gets both infernos and she gets uh, like an expo, a bomb tower even, on the opposite side of the base from where he entered. Now right here, maybe could have swagged that heal spell. That one would have been a little bit closer because there's still a few point defense. Uh, and there's not a ton of hogs. There's quite a few, but not like an overwhelming amount. I would have liked to see him just go for it and try to swag that heal spell. And if he failed, it would have made the video too probably. Uh, but just goes ahead and holds on to that freeze spell. And uh, we'll see where he swags. I actually don't remember where he puts it. Uh, maybe on the CC in the middle or something. Let's see. Uh, attack winds down. Yep, there it is. Right in the middle of the base. Swag freeze. Nice hit to Devin. Those are the two swag attacks. Now here's the bonus one. The drag loon I was talking about. Had to show it. Um, this is black ice and um, very nice stuff here. Starts the queen on one side. This is a very standard base to use drag loon on because it has the four corner air defenses, which means you can create the funnel and get air defenses with your heroes on each side of the base. So it's like a minor attack in terms of funneling, except you're also getting an air defense along with the funnel. Notice how he drops in those wizards to get that air defense uh, while the king walks past, uses the queen on the other side. I think he missed the queen's ability. I don't see any reason why he would intentionally not use it, especially because that CC range would not have uh, extended beyond the wall, so she wouldn't have tripped the CC. So not sure why, maybe just missed it there, but still gets the air defenses, gets the funnel. Here come the dragons, the small CC, which makes it a little bit harder to be honest, just because the dragons have to deal with the CC. If it's a Lava Hound CC, then, uh, th then the, the dragons just won't trip it. It'll just stay inside the base, inside the clan castle, won't even come out for the entire attack. So. Uh, the dragons deal with it, now they're going for the infernos. Right here, a lot of damage being taken, the sweepers pushing them back, the rages are starting to wear off, but here come the loons to reinforce, has one big group just to take out defenses, then one group specifically for that air defense. That's how you do it on the back side of the base, you uh, want to come in for those last two air defenses with hasted loons. There's one more AD left up. He's being patient, waiting for something to start tanking, I think. And then right there's the haste. There's the loons. And there are some Teslas there, which makes it a little bit trickier, but they still get in there. Um, this would have been a fail probably if that AD didn't go down right there. But it does. Has three dragons, a few loons. There are a few defenses left up, plus that high HP town hall and DE storage. So it's going to kind of take a while. He's going to lose some more troops. But in the end, has two dragons, which refuse to go down, taking out that last defense and cleaning up the base. Nice hit to Black Ice there. I think that'll do it for this video. That's all I have to show you guys today. Um, we, we're going to have a Town Hall 9 attack video, like I said, um, from this war, and also a video uh, for an attack strategy at Town Hall 10, showing the remaining two 10v10 three stars from this war. That's five total. Very good job to all the 10v10 guys at one hive genesis now um, if you're still watching let me know in the comments below if you want to see a base building video and what type of defensive video you guys want to see i think it's that time to uh to mix it up a little bit and throw in a defensive video so what type of base building video do you guys want to see town hall 9 town hall 10 a live base build a discussion type video let me know in the comments below and maybe if some of you guys watch to the end I'll see some of those comments. It'll be an interesting experiment to see how many people watched this far because uh, the attacks are definitely over. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Hope you liked the attacks and I'll see you guys very soon with some more videos. Bisectatron out.